Hi, I'm Sherry Soria from Living Light Culinary Institute, here to share with you another great tip from my book, Raw Food for Dummies. Today, we're going to show you how to make banana boats on fire. This is a ripe banana, and this is a not ripe banana. You always want to choose a banana that has speckles. The first thing we're going to do, of course, is to remove the skin from the banana. So we'll just do that real quickly and easily. Then we have to create a stable surface. This is our banana boat. Of course, it's got the right shape, but in order to make it stand up, we have to slice a little bit off of the bottom just so that we can get it to stand up straight. Save that just to eat for fun. We won't be needing it for our banana boat. Now we have a nice stable surface going on. Now there's different ways that we can create our boat. We can either use a knife and just drag it along, then use a spoon to scrape it out, or we can take a melon baller and use a melon baller to remove some of the center part of the banana, which is what we want to do. And you do want to be careful that you don't break the banana, so do it gently. Don't try to dig in too deep to begin with. And it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to use that cavity um, for almond butter, which makes a really fun snack. This is great for kids when they get out of school. Uh, great for you when, we, when you want to take a little snack to the office or share it with your friends. So there we go. We've got a nice little indentation there. And now we could either use a spoon to remove the almond butter and, and uh, put it in that way. Or if you're making a lot of banana boats, I recommend that you put it in a pastry bag. And that makes it so easy to just drag the butter right in, just like that, for your banana boat on fire. Now, to really finish it off, what we're going to do is place a celery stick right on top so that it can be the, you know, the mast. And I want to cut it into a sharp edge there so that it will stick. I think we'll put it on this end. Let's put it on this end because that end curves up nicely. And there we have, we'll put it a little further over, there we go. And there we have our banana boat on fire, but it's not really on fire yet, not until we add some cayenne pepper. And the cayenne pepper is uh, something that you might want for yourself, but if you were making this for a child, maybe paprika would be a better choice, or even cinnamon. So there we have it. You can use actually quite a bit of cayenne for this because you, you, it has to break through the fat and the sweet in order for you to really uh, taste it. So there you have it, banana boat on fire. Isn't that fun? For more great fun tips from Raw Food for Dummies, go to our Facebook page, Raw Food for Dummies. I'm Sherry Soria from Living Light Culinary Institute sharing another great tip. I'm here to help you make healthy living delicious.